my hands are shaking so bad, Buck, I can barely hang on. Good. Good? Yeah, good. Means your juices are flowing. Beer keeps you sharp, kid. <sighs> Buck? Yeah? You are full of crap. <laughs> Just figuring that out now. I didn't go to West Point. I'm really just a sergeant. Well, you're a captain now, so speak, Captain. Well, I think we should save our ammunition and give them a chance to surrender. Well, thank you for your advice, Captain. You keep firing. Colonel, they're just poor defenseless people down there. And hired killers, Captain. Not soldiers. You may be underestimating them, sir. Or die where you stand. I'll take that five dollars now. Boys. Chain them up, Sergeant Thurston. Make them nice and tight, boys. <laughs> I was there. In Shiloh, Captain. I know you were at Shiloh, Colonel. The lines had broken. They were in full retreat. There was no way they could counterattack. But they did. Our surviving officers were. Herded up like cattle, forced to watch as they raise their Union flag. And I fired off that cannon. And we were all left for dead. I lay there amongst that carnage, surrounded by the bodies of my dead brothers. Well. We gonna raise the stars and bars over that little village. I want it to be the last thing these boys ever see. <laughs> All right, now let's get some muscle behind us. We're gonna build that flash now. How do you like the Wild West now, kid? You all think you got me pegged, don't you, Buck? A rich kid, had it all. Yeah, I lived in a big mansion. My mother was a chambermaid. Never knew my father. It made me a stable boy, and I taught myself how to ride. Yeah. Mama died last year. She'd saved a little money, wanted me to go to college. It wasn't enough. Life's tough, huh? And then you die. I'm not leaning against my bad leg. Are you ordering all these prisoners to be executed, sir? That is correct. But, Colonel, these men surrendered. And we shall reward them with a quick and merciful death. They shall not be made to suffer as I was. That's murder, sir. Are you refusing my order, Corcoran? Colonel. We've been riding together for a long, long time, you and I. Following your orders has saved my life more times than I can remember. But this, I... Yes. I can't do it, sir. But that's treason. Treason? Treason against what? The war is over, sir. <laughs> Darcy! 
disappoint me, Francis. Sir! This man is stripped of rank and privilege. You're hereby promoted to captain and place the mutineer among the other prisoners and execute them all. All, sir. I think I made myself clear, Captain Darcy. When our flag reaches the top of the staff, execute the prisoner. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Private. How about it, Johnny Rev? I bet you never thought your boss would go loco on you. I'll have you know, Colonel Anderson was one of the finest soldiers in any man's army. I owe my life to him. And soon your death. <laughs> Captain? I gotta go get rid of some of this coffee. ceremony then we gonna execute us some prisoners with our little cannon then you gonna show me where that mine is there's no gold in that mine <laughs> <laughs> oh no of course not you gonna show me old man about time they'll be raising the flag soon I wouldn't want to miss this Nobody move or he's dead. I'll leave you boys alone for five minutes and look what happens. You'll only get one shot off before we take you. And you best discuss amongst yourselves which one of you is going to die. <laughs> Pick him yourself. The rest of us will tear you apart. Well... Guess I'll just have to take all of us. Why, well, that powder keg's empty, mister. Drop it. Big mistake, son boy. 